Welcome back to my channel. My name is Artie Madwoman. Bowman. My name is Artie Mad Bowman. My name is Artie Mad Bowman, but I will also answer to Heather or Alien, Space Alien, for this video in particular, because this week I want to try a trend that I've been seeing on the internet. I don't know what it's technically called, but what it looks like to me is like water drop resin. It is where you mix up resin, you drip a clear drop of resin on your mold. Don't fill it. Let those drops cure and then do most, uh, mostly what I've seen is people will do the drops, let it cure, and then mix up some resin later once those are cured. It makes in like a mica or something like that. And then when the whole thing pops out, those drops kind of push the mica away and it looks like water drops are on the, the piece of art. You know what I'm saying? It's very cool looking, but of course, I wanted to do my own like little twist on it. I don't know if anyone else has done this before, so if they have, please let me know in the comments. But what I wanted to do was see if I could do the drops, let them cure. There was a lot of, I'm doing this because there was a lot of trial and error to get this to work. Oh, they're still a little wet. It's been like five hours. I think if I put a brush on it, it would stick to the brush and then ruin my day entirely the way that I envisioned it. Anyway, past all of that, I wanted to see if we could dust the drops themselves in like different colors and I was like, oh my god, what if we do the solar system? What if I do sort of like 3D water drop solar system? We could dust each drop to look like their respective planet, right? Sounds fun, doesn't it? Quick little disclaimer, I did not come up with this trend, but if you know who has done this, who came up with it, who did it for the first time, let me know down in the comments and I will try to pin that comment. Anyway, like I said, there are many trial and errors in this video, so let's get to the first one. Good luck. All right, y'all, who's ready to make an out of this world piece of art? Mwah. Whoa! Wow, that was spicy. Right. You want to make some art? Yeah. You want? I can't hear you. Yeah. I can't hear them. I still that can't was hear you. Loud. Huh? Really? I don't know. One don't... more time. Whisper. I may have heard something there. Yeah. <laughs> don't mind the trash. Don't leave and look at it. Uh, masks and goggles and aprons. Take your pick, everyone. This one's fine, you can't have this one. So I'm about to begin mixing up some resin. We're gonna go with casting resin. I'll link everything down in the description. I don't feel like going through it because I feel like that's really boring. Here's the plan. Here's the dealio, okay? Here's the situation that we're dealing with. I do kinda wanna go for the sizes of each planet and whatever. Um, so Sean has everything on deck and ready to go. But don't judge me, you. I know you're sitting there in, in your cow on your couch or something or other. I'm gonna do my best. Okay then, let's get started. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Sean found this ketchup bottle, so we're gonna fill it with forbidden ketchup. Okie dokie. Alright, we'll start with the sun, right? Yep, right in the center, right? What's next? Mercury? Yes. Yeah. How's that? I think that's probably good. Okay, what's next? Venus. Perfect. Okay, next. Mars? Oh, sorry, no. Earth is next. Okay. <laughs> Next? Mars. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Then it's Jupiter. Saturn is next. Uranus and Neptune. I think that's fine. I think that's pretty good. You know good. what? Whoever that is. When the sun is a little messed up. Do you have any spatulas you can use to kind of shape them? Yeah, but they'll do that again. Oh no, what are you doing? 
going? I think they're all kind of over. Oh no! What the fuck, Richard? Oh, stop. <laughs> could you use a different resin? Yeah, we could try to do that. Hey everyone, yesterday we did some things. I think I used the wrong resin. The resin I used was like just a regular casting resin. It was too thin. The reason I deemed it to be a little bit thicker so that it holds its, you know, drop shape. So that it looks like a planet and not like, give me a vegetable. Give me an oval vegetable. Eggplant. <laughs> That's a fruit! <laughs> so we're going to mix up another batch of forbidden ketchup. Forbidden clear ketchup. Do you guys remember the colorful ketchup? What was your color of choice, huh? I used to get green because I thought that was nasty. And purple because I like purple. I like the purple. Yeah? That was your pick. Here we go. Da, 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 da. That looks so good! It does look good! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hopefully they stay! They've got to! <laughs> They've got to! Okay, hopefully we'll see you with our wonderful solar system in a few hours! Hey y'all, welcome to the next day! <laughs> so, we want to zoom in here. I really don't, but I'll do it anyway. Um, our planets are, you know, they are blobby. They are not, they are not, um, you know, they're not perfect. Yes, I realize that if these, if these were real, they would all crash into each other and there would just be an absolute devastating collision in the sky. All that aside, all that aside, we have some blobs that we now have to dust with their respective colors. So I'm just gonna, you know, do patches of like red. Wish I had like a red red, you know what I mean? Uh oh, that's too much. No, you're just not even... It's not taking it, y'all. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Everyone start panicking, it's not taking it. <laughs> Why isn't this working? It's because it cured already. Okay, well... Well, well, well. Let's peel these off once again. All right, I'm gonna clean my mold for like the hundredth time, and then we'll be back to go again. All right, let's, I have no idea. I'm gonna take you along on the on the process of figuring this out. Welcome to my resin shelf. What do I got, what do I got? Uh, I mean, we could try fast set because like it i think it cures in here to the touch in two hours so i wonder if i could mix a little bit of this up and do our dots and within maybe like a half hour they'll be tacky enough to be able to like grip the mica and stuff maybe we'll try that Ooh, this is a new resin for me okay i'm scared okay so i have these teeny tiny little cups that i'm just i'm gonna mix up resin classic old school style okay two cups we're gonna measure out equal parts and then we're gonna combine them i'm just gonna pour this one into this one here we go feels like a thin resin as well it's really for like top coating tumblers and stuff, so this mixes up nicely though. Oh yeah, this is nice. Look at that. Ignore that. That's because my mold is being annoying. Ha ha ha. 
guy. This one doesn't work either. So I'm cutting the rest of this part out because we're all tired. I know you're tired of seeing clear little dots be done on this mold. <laughs> Cut to the thing that does work, okay? Just just go, 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 go. <laughs> Maybe we can try UV resin and possibly I could like half cure the resin just until it's tacky and then dust it. Wow, look at these. They're just, they're cured. This, a half hour. Just talking about this resin, a half hour. Dang. That is really fast. And it was so nice to mix up. Hey y'all, if this was a review for that resin alone, top tier, pretty great. If you do tumblers, maybe check that out. Let's go again. No mixing this time, so that's pretty nice. Nice, perfect, big sun blob in the middle. Ah, my UV light's not down here. Oh my God, I'll be right back. <sighs> Yes, it is! I forgot! Anyways, here we are, curing it with my UV light. Alright, let's see if it'll take the glitter. No, okay, too wet. It is sticking to it, so that is pretty spectacular. Wow, we may have figured it out, y'all. I do wonder if after I do this, it'll have a hard time curing. It'll have a hard time curing. All the way, but we'll find out. The blobby sun, but you know what? After everything, I don't care. <laughs> okay, I think that's that's good. Go one more, and then we'll poke it and see if it's nice and hard. Next up, we've got Mercury. Woo! All right, let's give that a little bit of a cure. Some gray here and there, or it's more like a silver. And then a little bit of a blue. Cute, I like it. Okay, let's fully cure it. Next up, we got Venus. Venus is a little bit bigger. This one's like orange and yellow as well. Ooh, very pretty. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh my god, you guys, I'm getting kind of hyped seeing them fully cure it. The sun is humongous, but the sun is humongous. We are on to Earth. Cure it just a little. A little bit of blue, and then a little bit of green. Wow, what a cutie, huh? Okay, and then we'll fully cure it. We're gonna do Mars. Cure it. Ooh, I feel like this is the perfect color. Perfection. Okay, now we're gonna cure it. Next is Jupiter. Big Jupiter. Jupiter, big. Get a little half cure. Just like some streaks. And then we'll go in with some streaks of orange. I love that. I think that looks very Jupiter-esque. So now we're gonna cure it all the way. Wow, look at our solar system, y'all. Saturn, also very big. Half curing. All right, for this one, I'm going to try to dust the rings. So we'll do like, you know, maybe something like this and then we'll go around it and then that. What do you think, huh? Not that bad. Those are some big rings, but you know what, I don't care. And it kind of looks like it's exploding. You know what, we're moving on. So we'll just do the whole rest of it. That looks not bad. Your angle of it is a little weird. I don't think that looks that bad. Okay, we're gonna fully cure it. So, let's see. Uranus is a bit smaller. Give that a half cure. Here we go. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful glitter. 
Wow, I love that. Give it a full cure. Neptune! Okay. About the same size. Give that a half cure. Full cure. And guess what? We're on to our last one. Oh my god. Teeny tiny Pluto. Give it a little cure. There it is. Oh my god. Full cure. All right, y'all. Finally, here is our solar system. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just like clean this up so that it, it doesn't look like they're all exploding. Okay. Here are all of our planets ready to go nice and clean. So next up, I'm gonna mix up some resin. I'm gonna color it black. We're gonna add some stars. It's gonna be a beautiful space background. So let's do that. We've got something to pop out, you guys. It's been a couple of days because I did use hard cast. I wanted to make sure this is this is gonna be hard. I'm really nervous. I also am I'm nervous for a specific reason. And I'm gonna just start working on it while I tell you. So I was thinking, while I'm pretty sure we UV cured this, you know, we did. We did a lot. But what I'm worried about is that only that very back layer got cured. Shut up. Maybe none of them. It's a thing. I saw some sticky. Hey, don't touch anything. Oh my god. Oh shit. Wow, there's a lot of stars. I mean, there are a lot of stars anyway, but damn! It only did it to like the very, very slightest, like thinnest bottom layer. You can tell that it's like a nice little drop and it's like an indent. It kind of makes it look a little more 3D. The sun does look like it's fading into a black hole. That would be the worst case scenario. I'm being hypnotized by it right now. What I think I'm gonna do is take some UV resin and just kind of like level things out. Direct your balls downward. Fixed up all the dots. Look at that. Look how cool this is. Oh my god. It's amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat this right now. Ta-da! Beautiful top coat applied. It is stunning. It is so juicy. It is so glossy. It is so shiny and perfect. Like, this is so effing cool super cool i'm so happy we got this to work so i was like this would be a cool little twist on the water drop trend and we 
achieved. Let's take a look at some close-up shots because I feel like you need to see close up how cool this is. <laughs> Yeah, I also love that our sun is like, it's being sucked in by a black hole. It's kind of cool. <laughs> and I love that we did it with mica and like glitter so that when the like light shines on it, you can like, I don't know, it looks 3D. It looks like a real, a real circle in there. It looks like a marble to me. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I think I'm going to turn it into like a wall hanging, right? Like drill a couple of holes in there and put a chain on it and be a cool like piece of wall art, or I was thinking of making this into a tray. I don't know, you tell me, what do you picture this as being? This was super fun. I highly suggest dipping your toe in this trend. It is very cool. I may have said this at the beginning of the video, but if I didn't, I'm gonna say it now. I don't know who came up with this trend. I don't know who was the first person to try this. If you know, let me know down in the comments and I will try to pin it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and my vlog channel, which is not so artsy. Or is it this side? I don't know. You can follow me literally everywhere. It is at Artsy Mad Woman. Besides Tumblr, which is the Artsy Mad Woman, and my Twitch ch Twitch channel is the Artsy Mad Woman as well. If you'd like to become a member of my channel, where we did do a members-only video for the top coat part of this video, and we made like a little extra piece with some extra resin of that I had mixed up, you can become a member with a link down in the description. Also, I am pivoting. If you haven't realized or noticed, realized sounds sassy, if you haven't realized it, I am pivoting a little bit from YouTube. It's kind of like my pinky toe is pivoting away from YouTube, and uh, my pinky toe is pivoting towards selling my art, like my rugs, possibly some of this stuff. I'm not sure yet, but definitely starting with my rugs over on my website. So I will link my website down in the description. It's the same website that I do my merch from. I don't know if I'm going to keep stuff there. Anyway, this whole first drop of art is going to be a major trial. I'm going to just see how it goes. I'm very nervous. But if you're interested in, I don't know, owning a piece of art that I've made, the link will be down in the description. I haven't released anything yet. I will let you guys know over on Instagram. Maybe I'll do like a quick video for YouTube as well, just so like it's known. Anyway, I love you guys. To absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.